Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your luxury all-inclusive experts, and today I am at the beautiful Dreams Playa Mujeres Golf and Spa Resort. This is a masterpiece. It's only a couple years old. They did an incredible job when they designed it and built it. But if you're looking for a perfect place for a family getaway, they have everything from an incredible water park and lazy river to a beautiful beach. In fact, one of the best beaches in all of Cancun. And the reason for that is you have Isla Mujeres just across that's protecting it, and you avoid pretty much all of that sargasm seaweed that can be an issue a little further south. But if you're looking for good dining, a great time with the family, this is a fantastic option. And let me show you what it's all about. One of the things that I absolutely love about this resort is the dramatic entrance. You got the beautiful staircase behind me. In fact, sometimes it's even used for brides coming down for weddings. But as soon as you arrive at the resort and you walk down the staircase, you know you're in for something special. Right here, we're in the plaza. Directly in front of me is the large garden. And then you have the pool complex all the way around that steps down slowly to the ocean with two huge infinity edge pools. You've got the water slides over to the left of me, and they have tons of activities for families. They've got a phenomenal teen club. They also have a great kids club, and they even have little things around the resort, like right here, you've got your putting green. I know I love doing that with my daughter, or if I'm getting ready to head out to the golf course, which is part of the inclusions here at Dreams. Now we're headed directly straight ahead, taking advantage of that incredible view, and we're gonna start with the garden. So right in the middle of the top pool area is a huge center garden. So this space is, it's actually massive. It's right in the heart of the property and can be used for all kinds of different events. One of the ones you use it most commonly for is for weddings. You can have all kinds of different sizes of parties. They've got a great stage area up front that can be set up several different ways with the ocean in the background. But if you look behind me, you have this beautiful dramatic staircase that comes down. It's a perfect place for an entry. Also seen this used for quinceaneras and other kinds of events. So as we head into the first of the pools, I wanted to point out these valley beds. They have them all around the resort. These are for preferred club guests. This is an upgrade opportunity. So if you book a preferred club room, this is something that's one of the many amenities that you'll hear about throughout the entire tour. But I love about them is that it's a nice home base to have, especially when traveling with your family. So once again, first come, first serve, just like all of the loungers around the pool. So now you can see the first of the massive pool complex. You've got these comfy loungers here, but this particular pool is fantastic for those with the littler kids because you have a beach entrance up there, really, really shallow over there. So if you want to hang next to where the, the littler kids are, this is a perfect spot for that. As we continue along to the pool, you have the Mermaid Bar. You gotta have great swim up bars if you're gonna be a great all inclusive and they absolutely do. This particular bar, you also have seating behind it at the bar and then some more seating over further there. Uh, but what I love about that is you can see the ocean from there. As we continue along through the pool, you have a hot tub, more of the loungers all the way around. And then because there's two pools here, they kind of flow over to each other, including this incredible infinity edge pool. This is a great place to set up for the day. Now, all of these loungers that are in the water, it's a really narrow shelf right there um, where you can sit. I love sitting in a lounge chair, having my feet in the water. And then of course you have the umbrellas for shade. You get in the infinity edge pool, incredible views. I love how it's tiered here. So every single pool has a great view. So this huge pool wraps around like a horseshoe around the central garden. Over here to my left, you have a huge kiddie pool. So this is where the littlest ones will probably wanna spend a majority of their time or parents with the little kids. You've got all around this. In addition to these comfy loungers, you also have quite a few more of the beautiful uh, bally beds. These ones are a little bit more secluded and tucked into the shade. This pool on the side as well is shallow walk-in so once again great for the smaller kids or the toddlers uh, and families and as you continue on in you've got more of these shelf seating you also have these great little areas that are kind of not really like a hot tub but you have uh, bench seating and you've got bubblers in there but just a huge pool area and something for everybody so now i get to show you my favorite part of the pool area here and that is the grotto pool so you can see the infinity edge just in front of me. That's the bottom part there. So seeing the, the backside essentially. But as soon as you walk around the corner, you see this great pool with a waterfall. Now who doesn't love to swim in under a waterfall, get a cocktail because yes, there is a swim up bar underneath there and then head on back out or just hang out under there. It's kind of that, uh, that water therapy, <laughs> all the sound going away. Uh, as a parent, I always appreciate that. Uh, but you've got a great pool all the way around here. You've got loungers a hot tub and then some more loungers all the way around and then you've got the umbrellas you can have them up or down and then they'll move them for you if you'd like as the, the sun shifts so the grotto pool bar also has an indoor area you actually walk down a ramp come on inside here full bar service whatsoever once again that beautiful water therapy it's that perfect place to take your spouse to have that conversation about you know 
the third kid, and you know, what, what? I can't, huh, yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, love you. So now we're headed all the way down to the ocean front to the final two pools. But as we approach, I just wanted to point out this great area. They use it for events uh, and different things. But yesterday they had a huge barbecue set up, absolutely delicious flank steak, my all time favorite. And they also had a huge thing of paella. So they use it for all kinds of different things throughout your stay here. But now down at the pool area, you have all of these loungers. They've got a couple tiers of them. I did want to point out they do have some bally beds all the way around. These are just for preferred club guests. Great reason to upgrade. In fact, one of the best here. Uh, so you just need to grab those uh, first come, first serve. Now we're at the pool itself. So you have a really large pool, but even more impressively is the pool bar. I absolutely love a swim up bar. And this one actually has a huge swim up bar that wraps all the way around and also a walk up bar on the other side. So you've got a little bit of shade and then, well, the beach views. So now on the other side of the swim up bar, just wanted to point that out. They have this great shelf here. So it's, it's really narrow. You can even put some of the chairs inside right there. As we continue along, you can see that they have an event space that's just on top of the bar. So this can be used for private events and different things. But what I like is that it creates that shade for the swim up bar, especially in the afternoon when it starts to get hotter. But as I round the corner, what you can see is this is what the beachfront pool is all about. It is an incredible view out to the ocean. You've got these comfy loungers all around with the umbrellas move those around as you need. But what I love here is you have all of these chairs that are on this narrow shelf in the water. So that's a great place to be or all the way up at the edge of the infinity edge, looking out over the beach, maybe a drink in your hand and uh, well, paradise. So as we head around the corner here, I just wanted to show you, you have another hot tub. There's quite a few of these all around the property. You've got more loungers all around. But what I love is you've got several of these uh, bally beds that are tucked away for preferred club guests. They're right behind some of the biggest suites on the property and they're a little bit on the quieter side. And just for reference, the preferred club lounge is just here. So it's really nice having all of those amenities close by if you have a preferred club room that you've chosen for this stay. As we're headed down to the beach, we get an incredible view of the Infinity Edge Pool. It's really, really beautiful and I love sitting there on the edge looking out at the water. Over here to the right, you've got a foot washing station. So when you come up from a nice long walk on the beach and you can go pretty far in both directions, which I absolutely love about this beach, you've got the foot washing stations, and of course, rinse off and then head back up to the pools or your room. So I wanted to point out, this is a perfect place to see how the resort is set up. So you have these beautiful oceanfront rooms on either side, but what it really is is a giant horseshoe with the lobby straight up in the back, right in the middle. You've got all the tiered pools that come down and you've got the water park over there to the right, but they built it this way intentionally to maximize the amount of rooms that face the ocean. So when I have customers that reach out to me about Cancun, what they picture is a beautiful white sandy beach, that gorgeous turquoise water, nice and warm, especially when you're traveling with a family. I know mine absolutely loves it. This is that beach. This is why it's so popular with a lot of our customers is you have a beautiful, beautiful sandy beach. And the way it's positioned with Isla Mujeres just off the coast, in fact, you can see it, it's really beautiful from here. But because it's positioned there, you don't get all of that big sargasm seaweed that's been a lot of trouble further south. So that's one of the great reasons to choose this, but it is a beautiful, beautiful beach. Now we're to the main part of the beach area. So you've got the beautiful beach bar here. And in addition to that, you've got a few palapas and a ton of beach chairs. Now this is open to anybody who stays in the resort. Of course, there is a preferred club area. We'll show it in just a minute, but you, those in preferred club can come over here as well. And usually I find that this uh, beach bar is a little bit more lively. And of course, all of the lounge chairs here, you have fantastic bar service. So yeah, I can picture myself taking a dad nap here. Hmm, Corona on the way, no. No, nope, margarita, there we go. Being that this is a family resort, they do have lifeguards that are on duty. Make sure that you check the posted times, but as always, please, please, please always pay attention with that. Safety is first and they take all kinds of precautions to do it, but ultimately it's always up to us as the parents. Before we head over to the other side, I did wanna mention that the beach bars and this beautiful gazebo here in the middle can be utilized for weddings and it's something that's really popular because, well, you're on an incredible beach. So as we head down to the preferred club area, I did want to point out these beautiful coastal dunes. So they've preserved them in construction of the hotel. In fact, you can hear a bird in the background. But what I love is as with anything, when you travel with your family, there's lessons to be had everywhere. So the extra wildlife that exists here, but also it's here to protect the beach from erosion and also uh, the resort as well. But let's head on down to the preferred club area. 
So at the middle of the preferred club area is Hideaway Beach Bar. So this is exactly what it sounds like. It's a fantastic beach bar. You're right on the beach in a beautiful palapa making fantastic drinks that are all included, of course. But what's also great about this particular area is that you also have all of these bally beds that are just for preferred club guests. So you can come down in the morning and grab one if you like, uh, but they're available all throughout the day, once again, just for preferred club guests. But in addition, you're also gonna have seating along the beach. So if you want that, that uh, lounge chair that's right up there on the beach, or you want some that are a little tucked away behind some of the foliage, those are great options here as well. But this is a really, really beautiful world-class beach, and it's exactly what you expect when you're booking a trip to Cancun. I also wanted to mention that this part of the beach is the closest to the Secrets property. So of course, adults can share privileges between both properties. So if you wanna just continue along on the beach right, right there, you can actually step up to the beach bar over at Secrets as well and double up and it's all included. Nestled in the back of this resort is one of its absolute best features and that is the family-friendly water park. So there's something for every single member of the family here, starting with the littlest kids. You've got the water pistols right here, over there you got a tiny slide and then as you head on up you see it gets for a little bit of the bigger kids but i can picture my little one my niece and nephew having an absolute blast right here going up and down the four different slides you've got the water buckets that dump on top of you and if you notice in the background you also have all of these loungers so these are those comfy loungers perfect for parents to set up and of course you can keep an eye on the little ones the pool here is huge wraparound and it's really shallow over here so once again continues on being great for the smaller kids and then as we continue to wrap around you've got this palapa here in the middle it's a place where you can grab a drink or you can grab a bite and sit in the shade keep an eye on everything and then as you continue to wrap on around the pool gets a little bit deeper so perfect for the kids that are a little bit bigger now for the kids that are a little bit older and for those of us who think that we're very very young you've got these two great water slide options so you can see the tower up behind me with the lifeguard up there on the top. We've got this great enclosed slide area right here. That one gets going a little bit faster. But what I love so much about this entire resort is by spreading it out and having so many things to do, there is legitimately something for every person in the family. And you know that kids love water slides, then they love to go to the beach and the pool. And so you have a little bit of everything on any given day. Tucked away in the back of the property, you have this great little oasis. So behind me are actually two bedroom villas. They're incredible room categories. Make sure you check out our tour of those and all the room categories that we have in the entire resort. But what I love so much about this is the Lazy River. So this is just for those with preferred club access. So those are the guests that have preferred club rooms. But what a wonderful benefit on top of the water park, on top of the kids club, all of the incredible pools and the beach to have a lazy river. I know as a dad, this is one of my all time favorite features, getting in an inner tube, got my sunglasses on, chilling, relaxing. And you know, my daughter loves it as well too, because we're in the water. But this is just an added bonus at this resort and shows one more reason why it's perfect for families and especially why families want to upgrade to preferred club. So everything's all about mixing a little bit of fun, a little bit of relaxment and a lot bit of enjoyment. So I love this little feature because, you know, dad naps, you let them know. So all Dreams Resorts have great Explorers Kids Club, but this one in my mind is the absolute best of all of them for a lot of reasons. Of course, you have an incredible staff, which makes any childcare facility what it is. But in addition to that, you also are going to have some incredible facilities and activities. So they do activities all throughout the day for all of the age levels between three and 12. Specifically here, there is another teen club separate from this, but they're gonna do arts and crafts and all, all kinds of things. But what I love so much about it is that there's literally something for everything, everybody in here. So you got a theater, you've got a water park, you've got outdoor activities, and all of this is in addition to everything that you have throughout the park and of course this is a drop-off area so perfect for mom and dad as well kids get to have a blast mom and dad get to relax as well so now I'm on the inside part of the Explorers Club. You can see how it's set up. There's a ton of areas for arts and crafts. They do quite a bit of that in here. Of course, they take them outside, and I'll show you some of the outside areas as well. You've got a bar over there. One great touch that they do here is they either take the kids to the restaurants for lunch or they have it in here. So as you can see, more desks for the kiddos, some areas to tuck away. Um, and then right here, you've got the video game loungers with some Xboxes. They also have a great theater um, set up for a movie theater. Um, they have these really cool little chairs uh, for the smaller kids, but another great touch where you can have kind of a chill, relaxed area, which we know is great for kids to have that balance. 
So what really sets this particular kids club apart, especially in this part of the world, is all of the outdoor space and activities. You've got a basketball court right here, but as we continue around, you see the first one. So this is a rock climbing wall. It works on both sides here, and they've got these huge pads on the bottom. Find that the kids really, really love that, and of course, the more active they are, well, the better it is for mom and dad later on in the day. So as we continue on through, you can see this is a large area for the smaller kids. So they've got ladders, ropes, little creaky bridge right there, even a tiny rock wall uh, there as well. Keep in mind, three to 12 year olds throughout the entire space. Here you've got another slide, but what's great is in addition to the huge water park that they have outside, they've got a great whole nother water park in here. So you've got the frog here, who's a little bit of a slide. Who doesn't love a waterfall standing underneath that is so calming and wonderful. And then as we continue along, you've got a couple water slides here. You've got the lily pads, and then you also have kind of a, a car wash. And then, of course, you can't not have a giant bucket of water that dumps and cools you off. So you can see they put together an incredible indoor and outdoor space here at the Explorers Club. So now we're just inside the core zone. This is the teen only club, 13 to 17 year olds. And of course, as always, when every member of the family has their needs met and they're happy, they're gonna have a great time. But all of our friends and clients that have stayed here have said that their teens have really, really enjoyed the experience. As soon as you walk in, you've got the air hockey table, you've got two billiards table, and then we're gonna head down the stairs. So there's several different kinds of social settings. I was a middle school teacher for 10 years, so I love to see this where there's all kinds of nooks and crannies, different places, just like at a middle school dance for sure. Um, you've got the video game station over here in the corner. So if they love Xbox, there's quite a few of the rockers and the different stations over there playing against each other or with your new friends. You've got a couple social stations here along with some fruit. They also provide uh, meals throughout the day for the kids. You've got two foosball tables, and then continue on in. You've got MTV on there right now, but you've got a ton of lounge space here. And then as you continue on, you can see the DJ booth right there. They'll turn this into a club in the evening for the teenagers. And then all the way over to the side, you've got this huge pad area. You can see that they've reconfigured it, but they can configure it however they want. And once again, we all know that teenagers love to lounge. Now up on the upper level, in addition to the billiards tables, they have a bar here. Once again, great lookout to see the dance floor down below. And then a great video game station over here in the corner. You've got some motorcycle race, car race, kind of a dance game. Once again, something for everybody. Those who are young and young at heart, of course, love racing games. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Boom! Well, anyway, apparently, Woo! <laughs> You mean you don't jump off the stairs? What are you thinking? So just a great, fun thing to do with friends. Of course, you can have the competition or, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, there we go. It's kind of how I drive at home too, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, oh, here we are. So right now we're on the outside of the team club area. Just kidding. This is an awesome rock climbing wall. It is the entire wall here. And they've really, really, really taken it up a notch for the outside and the indoor activities. So let me show you what it's all about. Right here on the outside, you're gonna have the ping pong table. You also have a great social setting right here. You've got the outdoor couch set up around the chess. I've also seen that set up further outside there as well. And you even have this soccer billiards table right here that's a lot of fun. They also have a huge bungee trampoline over in the corner. And then continuing on through the space, they're gonna have both a batting cage and an archery setting. So they can actually set up the batting cage for you if you'd like. But what I love is that all of this space is dedicated once again to just those teenagers, 13 to 17 years old. And in a lot of ways, it's the hardest audience to please. And I love that they've done such a great over the top job with that. Getting ready to go on a camping trip. So I gotta brush up on my outdoor skills just a little bit here. Pretty standard. Continuing on, you also have a basketball court over there as well, but this is a huge, huge amount of space dedicated directly to the teens. The preferred club lounge here at Dreams Playa Mujeres is the best of all of their resorts. It really, really delivers, and it starts from check-in. This is actually where you're gonna come to check-in. You bypass the check-in up above, and then as you head on in, you've got this wonderful lounge space. It's very relaxing, perfect place for a coffee in the morning, or if you wanna have a cocktail before dinner in the evening. But also what I love about it is that they have all kinds of grab and go options, which is perfect for family. So kind of a continental breakfast, a separate one just for preferred club guests. And in addition to that, preferred club guests can also use Maris as their breakfast option if you want that plated course by course. 
Now, every preferred club has a bar, and this particular one is my favorite of all of them. They make incredible drinks. You see there's quite a selection of options there, but just a great way to upgrade your experience here at Dreams. One wonderful touch that they have here at Dreams is the hospitality room. So sometimes you find yourself in a situation where maybe you have a later flight and you need to check out and you have a time in between. It's always kind of, you know, what do you do? You don't have a room. And what is great about that is you can come in here, they have showers, they've got areas to get ready, they've got changing rooms, lockers, and it's right next to both the kids area and the water park. So you can get in a little bit last minute fun, go into the water park, enjoy all of it, come in here, get showered and ready to go. And they have identical facilities on both sides for men and women. And once again, when you're traveling with a family, having a place to go in, shower, change before you head out is such a benefit. So the Dream Spa is just below the lobby here, and they take it very seriously. It is a world-class spa, and of course, it has to be if they're gonna put it in the name of the resort. Now over here, you're gonna have the check-in. There's several different retail options. I know a lot of people do like to stock up on certain items that cost less here, but this is where you're gonna check in, and then after you check in, they're gonna get you a locker, take you right into one of the women's or men's locker room, and get you set up so you can start getting in that zen mindset and ready for your treatment. So on both sides of the spa lobby, you're gonna find the locker rooms. The men's and women's are both identical. The first space is this nice long couch. It's where you're gonna sit and get ready either before or after your treatment. You've got all the sinks here, hair dryer, magnifying mirror, and then of course all of the amenities that you would need to get ready. So continuing on, the next stage is the locker room. They are combo, I really like that. You don't have to worry about a key. But when you open it up, you see that they already have your robe in there for you. They've got your slippers in there. So you just change, put everything in there, and then you can lock it right up. And once again, I do like that touch that you don't have to carry a key around. So continuing along to my left, you're gonna have the restrooms right here. And then you're gonna get to the sauna and steam room. So before we head in there, I'll just point out, you've got these showers, just like the rooms. You've got a great rainforest shower head, shower one, and then the upgraded bath amenities in there. Now over here to my left, you've got the sauna. I love that they have one in both the men's and women's locker room. It's good, big enough for a couple people, but it's really nice to have that detoxification. And then in addition to it, they also have the steam room right next door. So you can kind of go back and forth between the two and then jump in the shower, of course, before or after your treatment. Now we're headed back to the relaxation zone. So this is the area where you're gonna go once again before or after your treatment to just get yourself in the Zen mindset. They've got different sets of teas and fruits, things like that there that they can prepare for you. And then they've got these wonderful, super comfortable lounge chairs here, once again, where you can just sit and relax. Because so much about having a spa treatment is just getting yourself in that zen mindset. I love these little rakes and the zen gardens. In fact, my wife's been trying to convince me it should be just as calming to do this with the leaves at home, and she's just wrong. So just off the spa lobby, you're going to have the beauty salon area. So you've got chairs here for haircuts, washing. Of course, they can do all kinds of different coloring and styling that you would like. You've got pedicure stations right here. One thing that I really appreciated is they were even big enough for my gigantic feet. And then as we continue on to the other side, you've got your manicure stations here. They do use the Pavonia and top quality products and they have a partnership with OPI as well. Now, something that's very unique about this specific resort, being that it's kid and teen friendly, of course, right through this, I guess, chain mail. I thought history for too long. Um, you have the kids and teen spa over here. So what I love about that is everything's a little bit smaller, a little bit you know, shorter over there, and the kids really get to dig in and have those same exact experiences as the adults. I know my daughter, for one, would absolutely love that, and I love that they've dedicated a space to that. So once again in here, you've got the pedicure stations, manicure stations, haircut and color, all the way over. Tucked just behind the beauty salon is the bridal suite. Now this particular resort is a very, very popular one for brides, grooms, and all wedding parties for a lot of reasons. You've got secrets next door and dreams, so you can kind of combine them together to two different experiences, but this is where you're gonna come to get ready. So you can take advantage of all the services that they have out there in the beauty salon and spa, and then come on in here, you've got the, hair, the separate hair station, you got a nice lounge chair, the couch, maybe mother of the bride, place to, to sit and enjoy, and then of course, the fitting station right here, so you can sit and prepare and make memories of a lifetime. So just outside the Dream Spa, you're gonna find this relaxation zone. The first thing I wanted to point out is quite unique. Here they have it all set up for an ancient Mayan Temazcal ceremony, where essentially they heat up the rocks in here, you put them inside, and it becomes a sauna. But it's more than just the sauna experience you have inside, it ties back in to the ancient Mayan rituals, and what I love is anytime you travel anywhere and you can connect to the local area, I think it's such a bonus. 
So continuing on around the corner here, you're gonna have outdoor showers. So they've got the rainforest shower heads on either side, and you can utilize that before and after the treatment and before you head into the relaxation pool. So just behind me in the relaxation area is the Revive Bar. This is where you're gonna find fresh juices and other spa drinks that are gonna keep you nice and healthy and refreshed. So in addition to the relaxation areas that they have in the locker rooms, if you're getting a couple's treatment, this is more of the unisex area. And I like it because it's open outdoor and you've got a great breeze coming through, but one other place that you can relax before we head down to the pool. So now we're headed down to the relaxation pool area, but what I love since the last time I saw this resort just a couple years ago, all the foliage has grown in and they intentionally set this down below the rest of the cabanas and the spa areas to be similar to one of the cenotes that they have close by. But because you're surrounded by plants on all sides, what you get is that really, really quiet, peaceful atmosphere. In fact, the only thing I can hear right now is the birds. And then you have these two beautiful pools here just to cap off the total relaxation. Now all the treatment rooms here are built out as villas. This particular one is for a couple's treatment. You can see it's set up with two right here. You've got the heated towels in the back here. You've got the really large soaking jacuzzi tub. You also have the shower over there in the corner. The signature treatment here definitely has to do with aromatherapy. That's something that you know about all dreams and secrets properties. They do have the hot stone massages, my favorite, but pretty much any of the treatments that you can imagine you can have here. And then of course, it always finishes off with my least favorite sound in the world because it means it's over. But perfect place to get a massage and relax during your stay here. Right above the spa, you're gonna find the gym. It's not a huge gym for a resort this size, but it has all of the machines and the weights and everything that you would come to expect. You've got your Smith machine over here. You've got a ton of dumbbells over there for uh, free weights, cardio all along the wall in addition to the treadmill. You've got ellipticals here and just for reference, I even fit, huh? eh? no. No clearance issues here. Um, continuing along, you've got all of your circuit over here. So if you wanna work several different machines, you got arms, legs, all of it. Of course you have abs as well. And then on the other side of the gym, there's actually another room where they do yoga, different kinds of cardio fitness classes, and there's also some free weights in there as well. Tres Colores, which of course represents the three colors of the Mexican flag, is the authentic Mexican restaurant that you're gonna have here. They've got some fantastic food options, starting off with the mezcal infused watermelon salad, one of my favorite. You've got some great mocajetes, lots of different mixed options for you there. But really, it's just a, a large scale Mexican menu. My other favorite thing, of course, because I always love Al Pastor tacos, is that. But as we walk into the space, you can see that you've got the booth setups, you've got tables. They can put them together to make for larger parties or smaller parties. But as you continue on into the space, you can get that Mexican vibe, that feel. In fact, they kind of have the Hacienda uh, floors in here as well, and you've got the hanging lamps up above. But what this is about is it's the Mexican option. You're here in Mexico, so I highly recommend that you check it out. And this is a dinner-only option. As soon as you walk in La Toile, you see the Eiffel Tower and you know that you are in a French restaurant. So it's kind of a modern French decor. You've got two top tables and four. Now, something very important to note here is that this restaurant is for 13 and up. So the smaller kids are not allowed to dine here, which is a great little upgraded option here on property. But in addition to that, of course, you can dine at any of the restaurants at Secrets throughout. If you're an adult, so you have all of those options combined. They've got this great divider here, so you kind of have two private tables here in the very back area, just a, a nice, well, I guess, medieval chain mail there. This is that French restaurant. If you love your escargot and you love French food, this is gonna be an option that you wanna try. La Toile also has a fantastic full service bar right here. And in addition to that, they have a very large outdoor dining area. Now, like with all of the restaurants here, Indoors, it's gonna have long pants, but outdoors you can wear shorts and you can probably tell from me leading the tour where I generally end up eating. So this private room and wine cellar is attached to La Toile. So if you want that French meal in an upgraded fashion, right now it's set up for four, but you can get eight in here as well. Once again, if you wanna celebrate a birthday, a private event, or wine tasting with some of these great options, this is the spot for that. So we're just inside Mezes, which is a Mediterranean restaurant. You really kind of get that Moroccan vibe and feel. You've got the beautiful lanterns coming down from the ceiling, indoor and outdoor seating. There's actually quite a bit of patio seating there, but inside you're gonna have tables for two, four, and of course they can push them together for larger parties. And then you have these great booths as well. 
The decor, of course, says it all, but the food is actually really good take on Mediterranean. What I love is they have all the, the starters that you would expect, the tabbouleh, baba ganoush, falafel, and really, really good fresh pita bread. But in addition to that, I love that they have the charcoal grill so you get those authentic charcoal flavors. So if you love Mediterranean food, this may be a great option for you to check out. So now we're in the private room for Meza. So you can see that this is set up for eight people right now. You've got these beautiful wine cabinets on either side, but this is set up for a private meal, whether you're celebrating a birthday, something along those lines, or they even can do wine tasting and other options in here as well. So we're just inside the Fusion Asian restaurant. So it is exactly as the name sounds. It's an Asian fusion menu. You're gonna have all kinds of things like sushi rolls, different kinds of Japanese and Chinese dishes. And in addition to that, you also have two hibachi style grills. Now this is the only restaurant where you do reservations. They actually do same day reservations starting at four o'clock generally. Make sure you double check when you're at the resort, but you can reserve that. Beyond that, the rest of the restaurant is just like all the other restaurants where you just show up and you don't need to reserve. So throughout the restaurant, they have an assortment of seating. They've got two tops, four tops. They can push them together to have larger tables. And then they also have the booths and the standalones. In addition, you also have the outdoor seating as well, which is my favorite place to sit. So now we're headed into Gauchos, which is the Brazilian steakhouse. If you love to eat and you're a bit of a carnivore like I am, this is the perfect fit for you. So they're seating all throughout. You've got tables for two, four, larger family configurations, and then they have much larger booths over here that they can combine to have mo multiple tables. In addition to that, they have this beautiful wall of wine, and they've got a private room in there that you can utilize for wine tasting, but it's most often used for birthdays or other celebrations. Now, before we head in to look at some of the food options, I just wanted to point out that, as you would expect at a Brazilian steakhouse, you've got this red and green. I'm usually on the green. But essentially, they're going to bring around several different types of meats. They cut them right off of the sword for you. And so if you want more, you got the green up. I'm going to leave it there because I'll be back at that seat in just a few minutes. So now follow me in to see some of the food options. So right here, it's set up essentially as a buffet. You've got all kinds of different side orders that are gonna come with all the meat options. You've got these beautiful and delicious desserts here. You've got some pastas, salads, uh, ceviche options. And in addition to that, you have several small appetizers. But just behind there is where the magic happens, and that is where they have the open rotisserie for the meats, and they're really delicious here because of the way they're cooked. Now, in addition to having indoor seating, there's also quite a bit of outdoor seating here as well. So you let them know which one you prefer, whether indoors or outdoors. But what's great here is this is one of the ocean front restaurants. So from the outside, you can actually get to see the ocean while you dine. So now we are in the Maris Seafood Restaurant. So it's a little bit of a mixed use space throughout the day. In the morning, it's where preferred club guests are gonna have that seated course by course breakfast that you can order. Of course, you can also have the light bites over in the lounge. But for lunch and dinner, this is open to every guest on the resort. It's kind of got a mixed menu. Today, I had some really good uh, fish tacos, also had some really excellent fajitas. But what you have is a mix of Mexican, lots of different seafood options. And then in the evening, you get even more of the seafood options that it's known for. It does have a full bar. And just like all the other the restaurants here. I really like that you can dine inside or you can head on outside and get those beautiful views and the breeze as well. So just above the pool is Tides. This is a poolside grill. It's kind of a classic pool menu. You're going to have tacos and burgers and all of those kind of things. And then of course my favorite, the buffalo wings. But as we head on in, they do have fans up above. They also have additional fans here as well. They've got tables for two, four, eight, whatever it is you're looking at. And have got the open grill right there. So if you just want those poolside snacks, this is the perfect spot for that. So Dolce is, in addition to being a coffee shop, and they've got lots of different espresso options and brewed coffee, it is where you're gonna get your sweet treats. And if you have a sweet tooth like me, you're definitely gonna find yourself in here. They have all kinds of ice cream and gelato choices. These are all included. And then as you continue along, of course, waffle cones, who doesn't love that? You've got the soft pretzels, always like that. And then more of the sweet treats as well. They also have some grab and go sandwiches, fruits and veggies in addition to it. But if you want a coffee, you want an ice cream, this is the spot. A really great quick food option is that's a wrap. I love that they have this here. It's all grab and go. They have prepackaged salads, fruits, vegetables, all kinds of things. You can run in and grab it. When you're traveling with your family, that's such a bonus. Head back out to the pool or they do have a great little eating area outside as well. But those grab and goes make all the difference when you're in a hurry.
So just off the lobby, you're gonna find the Limelight Theater. It is a really, really large space and it's used for quite a few different things. So you can see, of course, they have the full theater set up and even a, a pop-out area. So they do production shows here. They also have singers and all kinds of different entertainment just about every single evening. But in addition to that, one of my favorite parts of this is they also use it for sports. So they have two huge projectors that go up on the wall, one that comes down in the middle. And so if you're watching a major sporting event, this is awesome for that. But once again, multi-use space. They've got a huge bar, as you would expect to, for, a, for a theater of this size. And once again, all included as part of your all-inclusive package. So for those of you who love golf, they do have a fantastic golf course on site. It's a Greg Norman design course, 18 holes and 7,200 yards from the tips. And what I love about it is, of course, they have golf in the name of the resort, but they take that part really seriously. They're going to take your clubs from you right when you check in. They'll store them for you, and then when you're ready to play, they're going to bring them right over so that you can play right from the resort. When you get to the resort, it's very familiar for those of you who are golfers. You've got a great snack bar and bar like to start there and maybe finish there as well. You've got the pro shop, of course, with all of the different uh, options and retail that you can purchase here. But let's head out to the course to see what it's all about. So we just headed past the starter. We're getting ready to head out to the course right now. It is important to note that the green fees are included at the two resorts, but you also need to know that you do pay for the cart rental. And if you bring your own clubs, of course, you utilize those, but they also have rental clubs as well if you want to take advantage of that. So follow me along as we head on out. Hey, Chad. Golf is always a blast, whether you're teaching your kid to play for the first time, enjoying those incredible family moments, or just playing with a group of friends. It's always a great way to get away, decompress, de-stress, and having it here on the resort is such a benefit. You don't have to go far for it. So let's see if I can channel my inner shark. Mm, not bad, on the fringe though. Let's, let's keep it going. Well, I know for me, time for a cerveza and out to the course. So of course, before you head out to the course, got to work on the short game just a little bit. All lined up? Yeah. Okay. All right. That is exactly the one I was aiming at. There's also a huge conference center here as well. This goes along perfectly, of course, with any kind of group gathering or get together. Out here in the foyer, you've got beautiful furniture, nice place to relax before you head inside. And then right now we're heading into what is essentially two thirds of the ballroom. These doors will come down completely, open up so you have more. So you have several different multi-use spaces in here, whether it's set up banquet style for a meal or you're setting up as a classroom for an educational session. You can use this beautiful space for any of your conference center needs. And of course, the staff here is fantastic and they're gonna take care of all the details for you. In addition, the conference center has two spaces like this. They're set up as executive boardrooms. You've got all, everything you need to make a presentation, have a meeting, or also just to have that separate executive space for the conference going on. As you can see, they've got the full setup over here in addition to the you know, notepads and water that they put. They've got the Nespresso maker, uh, and then they'll also refresh throughout the day based on your needs. There's also a small business center if you have any printing needs or if you just need to have access to a computer, maybe do a little work or figure out where you're going next. The Azure Veranda is right next to the Gaucho's restaurant. And what this is, is a private meeting space or reception space. So if you're hosting an event, this is a, a space that can be utilized. You've got this great veranda outside here. And then the large ballroom inside that can be set up exactly as you like. First off, congratulations and thank you so much for watching this video with us. We love sharing this incredible resort with you. As you can see, it's got something for every single member of the family and being that it's connected to secrets, you also have that adults only experience that you can get a unique hybrid model that you don't have in just about any other AM resort. So when you're ready to book this beautiful resort or any properties within the AM family, reach out to Hard Travel. We know the space is inside and out and we have a phenomenal relationship with them. And we know that collaboratively we can create the vacation of a lifetime for you, your family and friends at an incredible value.